What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Before we start, I have to issue an apology, but also not quite an apology because it was not my fault. There was a fire at my apartment, and I got forced out of there uh, for a little bit over a day, which was really annoying. We actually were really lucky, like my apartment was almost entirely like untouched. It looks like we're completely untouched at that. Um, it looks like the apartment above us has some damage, but like we're fine like structurally everything's sound like i was really lucky like i was just barely out of range of the fire destroying my apartment uh but yeah so thank you all for the well wishes and stuff i really appreciate all of you guys uh today we're going to be getting into this video where i use a tapu bulu team and the team isn't completely done it's very you know basic the ev spreads do what they need to do speed wise and i'll talk about them in a second uh, but before we get into this video do me a favor leave a like on it subscribe to the channel turn notifications and answer my comment question of the day which is do you think tapu bulu has anything over rillaboom i'm gonna list one thing but beyond that let me know what you think about tapu bulu versus rillaboom who do you prefer and yeah also before we get into it uh this celebratory 20,000 subscriber merch is going to be on the shop for a little bit over a week now it ends next friday so if you guys want to check it out i'd really appreciate it it supports the channel it helps me out a lot and it's just a really solid design uh but yeah so tapu bulu is really interesting it's it's bulkier than rillaboom if we actually pull up rillaboom right next to it um here rillaboom if i could spell Rillaboom versus Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu only has a couple of things over it. So Rillaboom has 100 HP, 125 attack, 90 defense, 60 special attack, 70 special defense, and 85 speed. Tapu Bulu is 70 HP, 130 attack, 125 or 115 defense, 85 special attack, 95 special defense, and 75 speed. So we can see that Tapu Bulu is pretty much just a bulkier Rillaboom. Its HP is lower, but its defenses make up for it and then some, especially on the special side. However, it does sacrifice uh, some speed uh, in exchange for a bit more attack. Now, that is really cool. On top of that, uh, Tapu Bulu gets some rock coverage, which is the main draw of it on this team. What I'm doing is I'm running a Tail Room Kyogre plus Tapu Bulu team. Essentially, the Kyogre at um, plus two from Tailwind is going to be able to outspeed everything in the metagame, including Shadow Rider, Calyrex, uh, and same with Tapu Bulu, it will also be outspeeding. However, my Kyogre is just one speed point faster, which is really nice. Tapu Bulu and Tornadus are really nice on lead, as well as Kyogre Tornadus, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, but Tapu Bulu is going to be carrying a Koba Berry with Protect, Horn Leech, Stone Edge, and Close Combat. I might drop Horn Leech for Woodhammer for a bit more damage, but so far it hasn't really been necessary. Stone Edge is really, really nice for turning into Max Rockfall, which I can actually use to steal a KO from opposing Tornogre teams. Usually what they want to do is set up a Tailwind or just go for a Hurricane onto my Tapu Bulu on lead if they're leading off Tornadus Kyogre, where I can lead off Tornadus Tapu Bulu and threaten both of those Pokemon. By going for Max Rockfall, I'll not only actually bring the Tornadus down to its Focus Sash, but the Sand will pick up the KO from there. Also, I'm able to take on Groudon Charizard teams really reliably, since Groudon Charizard teams, neither of them want to take uh, either a Grass or a Rock move, so I can actually steal some KOs from those, which is really nice. It's also at a very middling speed tier, so under Trick Room, it can function just as well as Tailwind. Uh, and yeah, we're running a Mystic Water Kyogre with uh, also the Tornadus is standard Taunt Sash stuff. Uh, the Kyogre is running Mystic Water Drizzle, Water Spout Scald, Thunder, Protect, uh, with enough speed to just barely outspeed my Tapu Bulu and outspeed everything at plus two. Incineroar is Assault Vest, suboptimal because I'm still working on it. <laughs> Fake Out, Snarl, Flare Blitz, U-Turn. We have a Sugarberry Stack Attack at once again, suboptimal. Uh, Rock Slide, Gyrobob, Body Press, Trick Room. And we have an Eviolite Porygon 2 with Trick Room, Recover, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. And of course, the ability to download. For now, it's max HP, max special attack. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, yeah, I I've used it a bit so far. It's been really solid and I'm really enjoying what I've seen from this team. Um, I want to try to improve it further and wow, this is actually a really cool team here. Wow. Okay. Uh, so Curium White and Volcarona, huh? Interesting seeing, uh, the Galarian Zapdos there. I guess it's just because they didn't want to double down on electric types. And I guess that makes sense. Um, obviously I want to bring Kyogre to this matchup, but I'd be really careful with that Regieleki. Hmm. I kind of want to go Tapu Bulu Tornadus, because there isn't much they can lead against that. This thing doesn't want to take a max Rockfall, and close combat also hurt quite a bit. I think what I can do is lead off Tapu Bulu Tornadus, 
Um, dang, I'm really fighting weak, aren't I? <laughs> I? In particular, I'm really weak to this uh, Zapdos. We might take an L on the first match. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, Zapdos actually tears through my team. I kind of want to go Incineroar, but I'm also very cautious of the... Um, I'm also going to be very cautious of the... Um, what's it called? <laughs> the uh, Defiant on the Galarian Zapdos. Maybe I should go Trick Room versus this team. Then again, Metagross would be a little bit more annoying under Trick Room. I think I'd prefer the Tailwind. Hmm. Stack Attack it might also be pretty solid. I don't know. I think we're going to go with the very basic lead here, and hopefully we'll be able to pull something off. As they end up leading off with the Tapu Bulu and the Curum, which is not a terrible lead for me. I have to be really careful with the Curum, though, because Curum is probably going to be going for that max ice move into my Tapu Bulu, which I'd really prefer not to take. Um, I should be able to protect here. Yeah, uh, I don't want to risk having to take a fake out here, so I'd rather just go for the Protect. As they le they send out the Volcarona. Dang, I could have gone for Tailwind. <laughs> okay. So, they do go for the Max Hailstorm, however, it isn't a Tornadus. I should easily be able to take a Max Quake since I'm a Salt Vest Incinera. I'll go ahead and I'll Snarl here. Uh, assuming that they want to go for another Ice move... I think it's in my best interest to Tailwind now, since they can't stop that. And I can, you know, I can reap the fruits of that for a little bit longer. Uh, I am faster than them at plus two with my Incineroar. They go for a Max Wormwind. Uh, I can once again Snarl, that isn't a terrible play. And I think here I want to get in my Tapu Bulu, assuming that they won't go for anything besides Fake Out into the Tornado slot. And if I'm lucky, I can go for a max Rockfall on the Curum. But I think Incineroar might be my main priority here. As they go for the max Wormwind on the Tapu Bulu, which is... Or not Incineroar, but, you know, the Rillaboom. Alright, so that's actually amazing for me. I'm in a really, really solid spot. What I'll actually do here is go for a max Rockfall on the Curum. And they don't really have any switch into that, it looks like. Yeah, their only switching would be the Metagross, which I'm fine with. Um, I'm somewhat tempted to sack the Incineroar. It's kind of an iffy play. I don't want to send in my Kyogre yet. I think I'll U-turn here, and I'll go for my Max Rockfall on the Curum. And that will probably KO from this range, since we are Adamant Max Attack. Yep, that does pick up a KO, which is phenomenal for me. Get a U-turn off. What do they go for? Hopefully, did they reveal? I feel like they went for... Yeah, they have high horsepower, so I can probably get in Tornadus here. As they go for a knockoff onto my Bulu, as I lose my berry, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, I'm not in a terrible spot, to be honest. I should take this opportunity to try to one-shot the Regieleki. So I'll go for a Protect here. I mean, my Bulu 100% beats this Rillaboom. I'll go for the Max Overgrowth to hopefully one-shot Regieleki. As they Volt Switch on me, unfortunately, I'm going to catch that Volcarona. Uh, but we still have a turn of Tailwind... Since this grassy terrain... Oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, oh no. Uh, I can get in the Incineroar here. And I can just fake out Max Rockfall on the Volcarona. As, as long as it comes down to Regieleki and Rillaboom, I should be able to win. As they protect, that's fine. Now, I don't know how much speed they have on this Rillaboom. I really don't. This is actually really iffy. Um, if they're, if they have no speed investment, I should naturally outspeed. I'll go for the water spout here since it seems relatively safe, but I'm also really, really concerned that they might be going for, um, I'm also really concerned that they might be going for a, uh, what's it called? Not a sticky web, but a string shot, since that is a relatively popular move in the format. Uh, I think I have to go for it, unfortunately. And I don't need to worry about Volcarone, I think. I think here I just go for a, uh... Stone Edge on the Rillaboom. That's probably my best option, so, it's, so I don't automatically lose to Regieleki. As they do have Struggle Bug, which is fine. As long as I outspeed, I'm fine. Alright, get some good damage there. They outspeed, but hey, we win. <laughs> or they don't outspeed, but um, they outsped my Tapu Bulu. Did they? I don't know. I'm tired, man. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I don't know why. I like couldn't... I skipped the turn and I couldn't think about what happened. My apologies, I'm like off my game. When I don't record for a couple of days, I just lose it. I lose my ability to commentate. Hopefully I'm good though. And this is actually a really solid team that I was considering a while back. Um, Solgaleo, not Solgaleo, Necrozma Duskmane plus Milotic. Just seems overall really, really nice. 
and it looks like the last thing they want me to do is intimidate. <laughs> Or, I mean, the last thing they want me to do is intimidate their Necrozma, and thus they brought things to heavily discourage that sort of play. Uh, what I could do... I mean, obviously, Tornadus Kyogre is going to be my lead here, unfortunately. Like, I, I'm pretty much locked into that lead. Um, Porygon 2 doesn't seem awful. And I'm somewhat tempted to go Tapu Bulu. But it doesn't like facing down the uh, Necrozma, nor does it like facing down these two. Like, Incinera is whatever. Look, Tapu Bula is really bulky, but... Um, and Stack Attack, it just seems like a generally bad idea in this matchup. I'll go Tapu Bula. I feel like Porygon 2 is going to carry this match on its back, to be honest. Like, it's going to have to carry the match, or I'm going to lose. Alright, as they go Milotic Urshifu, which is actually really good... <laughs> They could be Choice Band. Uh, I'd like to scout for Choice Band, so what I'm going to do is actually just go for a raw Hurricane into the Urshifu, and go for a Protect, since they would have to Sucker Punch here. Oh, no, okay, well, probably going to take a Wicked Blow. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I was trying to uh, avoid taking the Sucker Punch, since, you know, I don't have any other moves that actually outright prevent that. Um, I should be able to Tailwind here pretty safely and just go for my Max Water. And they're Sash, so the Sucker Punch would still hurt. Not my Max Water, but um, my Water Spout. I think I Tailwind here. And they're confused. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, there's no reason not to Water Spout, to be honest. Yep, still live. I'm still going to pick up the KO. Alright, and in comes the boy. No Incinera, please. No Incinera, please. Thank you. It's not unwinnable. The last thing I want to do is have to Dynamax this Kyogre, though. Because they bring out the Necrozma, the big boy. The biggest boy. Uh, what I could do here is go for a Max Water into Necrozma, as well as a Close Combat, and that might seal the deal, to be honest. I hate that I have to Dynamax this thing. Like, I really hate that. Because it's got, what, like, 2 HP? <laughs> We're going to go for Close Combat. Uh, and I'm going to go for a max water onto you. They could go for a trick room, and I'm kind of hoping for that because I should be able to pick up a KO from this. Nope. Yep. All right, how much am I doing here? I do a lot. It might be in range of a second close combat, depending on who they targeted. Max steel spike into the Bulu. Okay. Okay, this isn't terrible. Since I should always pick up a KO versus Necrozma, this should be fine. What I could actually try to do is call them going for a protect here as they try to knock out my my uh, knock out my Kyogre. I'm I'm somewhat tempted to go for Thunderbolt and Thunder into the Milotic, assuming they max guard. Because they could try to pick up the KO on the Kyogre here. I'm gonna do it. Hey, okay. We do a lot there. And I outspeed. Nice. Okay. Okay. If there's an if there's an incinerator, I might actually lose still. There's the tornadoes. That isn't great. Um, I can go for a thunderbolt as well as a max geyser into you. As long as I KO the necrozma here, I don't see tornadoes being able to pull it back. Yeah, they just forfeit. Nice. Okay. Like I said, Porygon was gonna have to carry the team, but um, I mean, I guess it was Kyogre. Porygon just being able to like be unkillable towards the end is really nice, though. Awesome, awesome. We're, we're doing pretty good. The way I measure the success of a showdown live is like, okay, Marcos, you're 13 minutes in right now. Uh, try not to lose too much more. You're two, you're two for two right now. Uh, if you end up losing the rest of the matches, it isn't terrible. Just try to make it to the 25 minute mark and then people won't think you're bad at the game. That's literally how I make these videos, to be honest. Um, I'm not faster than Reggie Lucky at plus two, unfortunately. So this might be a trick room game, but I have to be really careful with that. Um, with that Zapdos. Is Zapdos just picking up in usage? Am I dumb? Let me see. Picolytics. Picolytics. Let me see. Is, Zap is Zapdos a thing right now? It, it's not. It, it's not a thing. Why Why am I facing so many Zapdos? It, it's not a thing. Okay. Um, Kyogre is 100% going to have to show up to this match. I can't lead off with Incineroar and fear Zapdos. And Tapu Bulu kind of seems like dead weight in this matchup. It looks like Stack Attacka might have to carry the game on its back, but... Um... I could go Stack P2. 
Kyogre in the back. And probably Incineroar, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so I'm really glad I didn't lead off the way I was probably going to lead off originally. Um, They should go for a fake out onto P2 and try to one-shot me with their Thunderous Kick. Which is really unfortunate. Um, I guess my play is just to go for double Trick Room. And regardless of what happens, I uh, hope that it works out. Because they're going to fake out one of these. If they don't fake out one of these, if they're like, if your weakness policy Ice Shard, I'm going to lose it. Okay. Well, Max Knuckle actually does less than um, a Thunderous Kick would, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm dumb at this game. I probably lose. Uh, they likely have like Assurance or something. What I can try to do is go for a Max Geyser into you. And hope that that just does it, to be honest. And Trick Room. As they faint, okay, it looks like they want to get rid of the Kyogre, which I don't agree with that play at all. There is a Porygon 2 in the field you could have one-shot. There is a Porygon 2 in the field, sir. Uh, let me go for the Max Geyser again. Interesting play by my opponent, and I can Thunderbolt this Weavile. How much am I doing? Yeah, 54 per- I'm, I'm KOing this thing. I thought they had me in a corner here, man. Zapdos is such a bad matchup for me. Is it? Is it a thing? Tell me, is it a thing? 56. It's not a thing, then. Why am I facing so many Zapdos? Okay. Triple Axel actually did a solid amount to Porygon. Uh, but I can recover it off and KO this Weavile next turn. There's the Volcarona. I don't really care about that since Incineroar hard walls it. Go for the Max Geyser around a U as well as a Recover. They can Struggle Bug. They can do whatever. Uh, under Trick Room Kyogre is really difficult for them to deal with this. Actually, that's a really smart play, you know. Just Rage Powder away the hit, try to KO the Porygon, I, su I suppose. Come on, baby. Okay, nice. So I can still recover and KO this thing next turn, likely. Zacian Crowned. Alright, um... I think my play here is to just put out as much damage as I can versus Zacian. I could try to get an Incineroar and Scald the Zacian for damage. Does Water Spot do more? I think with spread damage, it does less than Scald. So I'm gonna go for a Scald and switch in the uh, Incineroar. And I think regardless what happens next turn, I should be able to fake out and recover. You know, if my Kyogre goes down. As we do a ton of damage. There's the Assurance. And a Sacred Sword, nice. Okay, we live and that's actually really good for me because I, there's just no way they can actually win now, I think. If I Flare Blitz into this Weavile and just Scald once more... They, they have to have Protect. No, they don't have Protect. Are they... Is that a Salt Vest Weavile? Because they don't have any moves that wouldn't work with a Salt Vest. Interesting. Yeah, they can't win anymore. Rain's gone. I just go for my Scald here. I go for my Flare Blitz. Okay, three for three, Marcus. You only have to make it, like, what? Six more minutes? <laughs> God, my commentating game is so off today. I apologize if this video is trash. It, we're showing off the Tapu Bulu team. That's what matters. Um, do do do. Uh, I mean, this doesn't seem that bad actually. I have to be really careful with the Thunderous. It looks like they really don't want to face Trick Room at all, and they don't exactly have a way of stopping my Trick Room, especially if I lead off P two. They'd have to lead off Incineroar and go for a Taunt. But I can lead off, like, P2, Kyogre, Tapu Bulu in the back, and I want to bring Incineroar. I think Incineroar is going to be really nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, they can't stop this. <laughs> they just can't stop this. Uh, what I can do is get in the Incineroar here in Trick Room. If I'm scared of expanding Horse, I could just get in Tapu Bulu. I might do that. I think I'm going to get in Tapu Bulu and Trick Room. Because I'm very much afraid of expanding horse. And Tapu Bulu can eat. Especially if they target into P2. By the way, a note for some people. Um, if you're going to click Expanding Force in Psychic Terrain, always click it on the one that you care about more. Because I've had a lot of games where I'm like, oh yeah, I don't really care. I'm going to hit both of these things. And then they go for a max move, and my expanding force doesn't hit anything. <laughs> it doesn't hit anything that matters, at least. Uh, they should go for a follow me here. I think what I want to do is get in my Incineroar and actually just max Knuckle. I 
I'm gonna max Knuckle here because they might switch in their own Incineroar and I feel a lot more comfortable uh, keeping myself at neutral. As they get in their Thunderous, which is fine by me. Because they're gonna have to take a max Rock and Ferrothorn doesn't like to eat this. So I'll go for the Flare Blitz on the Ferrothorn. Go for the max Rock Fall on the Thunderous. They didn't bring the Incineroar at all, which is phenomenal for me. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Tapu Bulu might go crazy here. The rain is on the field, so like, of course Ferrothorn can eat a hit. Uh, but at plus one attack, I should be doing a solid amount of damage. I don't want to not Dynamax, or I don't want to not go for the Max Flare into the Thunderous, because if they decide to Dynamax and go for a Max Airstream, that's it. I'm in a really bad position. Plus one, you are gone. You, there is no way. There is no way you are you are not gone right now. And we get the burn on the Ferrothorn. <laughs> awesome. Okay, goodbye. Uh, goodbye. You know what else this thing loses? It, it just lost its um. It just lost its rain thing to just keep it from taking as much damage from my Flare Blitz. So yeah, uh, I feel pretty good. Body Press won't KO the Incineroar. Indeedy isn't very scary. I can go for a max uh, Overgrowth onto it. Yeah, I'll just max Overgrowth onto the Indeedy to remove that Psychic Terrain. And Flare Blitz the Ferrothorn, fully expecting it to get redirected. So they go for a Leech Seed onto the Incineroar. Interesting play. Don't know if I agree with it, because... How do I feel about this? I mean, I have Grassy Terrain up, and even though they haven't Dynamaxed that Calyrex, I feel like it won't appreciate taking plus one Horn Leech in Grassy Terrain. Also, I still have Kyogre. Uh, I kind of need to keep Incinera around, though. I'll go P2 here to minimize the damage I take, and I'll just Horn Leech into this thing. the iron defense again no protect so goodbye yeah they they <laughs> wait did they dynamax their um thunderous it, it dropped so quickly that i literally don't remember where is it thunderous yeah they, they dynamax the thunderous right yeah i can go for a close combat and an ice beam yeah <laughs> okay so uh yeah uh, this might have been a little bit more of an awkward video because i'm just trying to get something up Something up that's interesting before I, you know, work on some homework today, but honestly, I did not expect it to go that well. I expected myself to be so off my game with recording videos that I didn't expect to like win a single match, but we did pretty good. We did, we did pretty good. Here, here's my thing, right? Like, it's not that I'm like terrible at the game, but uh, commentating a game and playing it at the same time is a skill that you have to learn after a while. And I'm very bad at it when I don't practice day in and day out. So yeah, um, that's the team. It's not completely done yet. Uh, Tapu Bulu, obviously, like, it could be improved. I could have, like, defense here or there, you know, just opt optimize the defensive spread a little bit more. Tornado's probably going to stay the same. Kyogre definitely could be optimized a bit more. Incineroar, 100% could be optimized a bit more. That is just completely suboptimal. Uh, Stack Attack, obviously, and Porygon, obviously. So yeah, the concept of the team so far has been going stupid. I, I really like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you hopefully daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content if my apartment doesn't catch fire again. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.